Tonight, I eat some crisps. Aaron flashes at another player. And Michael shows off his knowledge of aviation. There is definitely a fine line between crash and landing. Okay, so seeing as I won the last one, uh, I guess it's me that gets to do the, the countdown today um, and do the intros and stuff. So, um, Michael, let's start with third place. Um, where are you going from and to and what are you in? No, save me, save me to last. Save me to last. Normally you save the best to last and you haven't been twice, so... Uh... Well, fuck you. So, <coughs> after my um, absolute smash... I was about to say smash hit, but it's not a smash, smash hit. My absolute smashing last week, or the week before last. So just get round to where you're going. Fine. So I'm on the Settle to Carlisle route, and I thought I might as well pull something out of the bag. So I give you the 4472 Flying Scotsman. Good effort. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Aaron? Um, I'm covering roughly 600 miles. Um, okay. Again, there's no definite route yet because I have to wait and see what I get on pickup. Um, yep. But I'm in the Ardun Trusty Volvo FH Globetrotter XL um, that has currently done 91,000 miles for me. Okay, fair, very cool. 91,000 <laughs> miles, good God. Okay, um, I am currently sat on the ground um, in Manila, uh, which is in the Philippines, uh, and I'm sat uh, here. In my um, triple seven, Boeing triple seven two hundred. Uh, I'm on a cargo run uh, route today, actually. Um, right, okay. So let's not beat around the bush. Yep. Boys and girls, start your engines in five, four, three, two, one. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Bye. So here we go again. Okay, we are off. The flying Scotsman is. Right out the bag. Okay, so let's go. And start the number two, Anjan. See how it starts to spin up there. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the uh, 4472 Flying Scotsman to Carlisle, departing in second. Um, of course, everybody knows the Flying Scotsman is the world's famous steam locomotive. And chuck the fuel in for that one. This is an absolute goliath of an engine to fuel up. This is the part that we need to be focusing on here. Other famous locomotive of the a A4 Mallard, which I did in my first episode. I've, be, I've had three beautiful, famous locomotives on this series. I've had the Mallard, I've done the A1 Tornado, and I've done now the Flying Scotsman. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? Don't make me drive around in circles today just trying to find a fucking cargo. That's what fucked me last time. How many miles? 585. Fuck it. Let's go for that. That's close enough to 600 miles. I'm probably going to have road work to deal with, fucking average speed cameras, um, probably another railroad or something. So, I expect good things to happen. Cool. Oh, APU's cooling down, so that's fine. Water brakes to RTA. Right, anti ice done. Got required recall. Check. Flight controls check. Ground equipment is just giving me the green light. Flaps are set for 15. So that's the before taxi checklist complete, and I know in the back of my mind the takeoff checklist is complete. Let's get the internal flights on, gear the thing lights on. These guys can fuck off. Right, I'm getting out of these places. It's a bastard. Okay. 
<coughs> so I've just left Newcastle to journey of 585 miles. We're saying 900 on the sat nav now. Um, but I'm going to. Um, shit, where am I going to? Come on, locomotive. I know, I've got, I've got the pressure, I'm really sorry. Let me build up my pressure and then come back to me. Okay, however you say that one right there, that's his destination. I haven't got a clue, I apologise. Um, yeah. So we're on the road. At least it's not raining this time. Which is good. I'm happy. Please move. Now, just a quick point out. In the last video when I did my um, absolute abysmal run in the um, gas turbine, uh, I had the minimal um, bar along the bottom. Um, and that's good because I know a few of you are saying that it's cheating me having all these bars along the bottom and such and using the controls here. I am using the keyboard as well. You know, I've got a lot of keys on the keyboard and such, so I am you know, using the keyboard. But with a steam locomotive, I've had to bring it back because I don't get these buttons in here. And also, I can't find anywhere how to change water pressure and such, or how to check it. Because these don't work. In the real, in the real world, this will show water. It doesn't. Neither can I look down there and see how much coal I've got. So these percentages I need. Look at that, roadworks. Roadworks! Haven't even got out of Newcastle yet. Thank you. Bellend. And power. Go, 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 go. 60 miles an hour speed limit. I am going half back. So we're taking off on the um, westbound runway. And we're going to be, um, well, pretty much straight after takeoff, we're going to be doing um, just more than, slightly more than 90 degree turn to the right. And uh, you'll be able to see the airport off to my right hand side. And uh, the city uh, on the middle there as well. They actually, they lit up quite nicely. It's dusk. Uh, depending on tower cover, of course. From there, it's um, it's pretty much north over the ocean um, until we um, sort of swing, uh, follow the southern coast of China, um, approaching Hong Kong, um, and running parallel to the uh, airport with it off to our, our right hand side in about 20 miles or so. As we fly the uh, the approach, uh, the approach judging on the winds today is going to be the good old fashioned checkerboard approach from uh, the uh, IGS. Runway 1-3 approach, so that's going to have me flying towards a mountain uh, between the, uh, the buildings and then um, rotating at um, maybe five, between 5 and 800 feet off the ground and uh, hopefully planting my uh, bird firmly down onto the tarmac uh, shortly after. Flight time today is 1 hour 39 minutes and I know Michael's route is 1 hour 40 minutes I've already, I've failed to start the clock. Shit. Ah, oh dear. There we go, I can see now where I'm actually going. Oh, guild. Beams off next time. Approaching two, four. Thank you, Audrey. With that, swing around. On runway two, four. <laughs> Here we go, sixty percent. So go. Right. We are going. Z1, meet you, Dick. And back we go. Ready 
say. Positive rate, gear up please. Good. I'm good, good, good. already across the channel. Oh, bloody hell, nice. Hmm. I have no idea how much I've done. I think I'm actually adding time to my thing, so I'm not doing well. I've got to shave off 23 minutes. Are you managing to add time already? Uh, my pressure at the start was all over the place. Oh, I completely was talking to the camera too much and was not paying attention to what my pressure was. Oh, so um, you done goofed. I goofed. But I think I might be able to pull it back. Well, I don't know if you don't do fuck up again, then you're in. Uh, then you you're not gonna done do good. Indeed, but my pressure is good now. Oh, uh, I'm at 50 miles an hour, so. Nice. Right, I'm going 50. Yeah, we're going smack same speed limit. <laughs> are you um? Are you doing a stopper service again, though? Uh, no. No, it's just straight through. No, it's straight through. I'm express. Hey. So, how many miles have you got to go in total? Uh, total. Uh, about 600. Jesus, I've got to go about 70, I think it was 70 odd miles at my start. Yeah. Um, <coughs> which is a lot. Mm. Um, but I think the majority of this route is about 60 miles an hour, so I should be pretty good. Yeah, and I really don't want to let Ben win again. No. I really, no. I really wanted this to be a series that would go on for a long, long time before he won. Yeah, I did. Well, we managed to get to episode 4. Yeah. So that's not too bad, and in those that was two wins to me, one win to you. And mm -hmm. he won one, and then he's won a second one. Um, uh, he can't win three in a row. He can't get a hat trick. Mm -hmm. Nope. So nope. Nope. it has nope. to be me or you. Yes. I'm gunning for you. Because <laughs> you, haven't, a, you haven't won for a long time. Yeah. And it'll be nice for you to actually beat him. And I'm hoping I get, obviously I get first or second. I want him to go back to his losing streak. <laughs> um, yeah, it would be nice. So he's got a... He's got to shave off a lot of time on this stuff, this one. Hour and 40 something, he was an hour and 30 something. Yeah, that's it. Um, but yeah, he wanted to um, do that to try and... Because, you know, like, yeah, he said that you'd been shaving time off, so they've added, you've added, both had a little bit of time on. Exactly. To try and compensate for that. I'm hoping to get that headwind. And just, actually, no, even better. A slight headwind, but with a bit of a crosswind. 45 so, degree angle one. Yeah. <laughs> so not only is he going slow, but he's being blown off the one direction or the other. Nice. Oh, good. Please, real I'm world, weather aware if he's flying, please be doing that. If there is a god. Did he say he was in a seven three seven again? Four seven seven three seven whatever. It is. I swear, when we were loading in, though, it sounded like he was in another prop plane. Yes. Uh, but yeah, right. Let it get on, and I will see you later. Yeah, sometime to right. in a bit. Love you, bye. Bye. Okay, that was riveting. Get up. Might have to get out and set the lamps on in a minute. So those of you who decided not to watch the first four um, races, the plane currently has two victories on the trot. I have one victory. 
and ooh, shit, the train has a victory. Um, I've had a couple of seconds. Well, we all have. Um, effectively, oh shit, maybe yeah. Um, <coughs> yeah, we've all effectively had a couple of victory uh, second places. Um, shit. Well, that's just fucked me. I'll leave those to have their chin wag first. It's usually me doing the calling. Oh, this is what fucking happens. Right, this may have actually cost me the race already. Shit. Oh, it's a fucking two hour trip. Oh! Fuck. Happy days, right. Full power. Let's go. That's now repaired. Absolute fucking ball bags. Right, that's, uh, what have we got? That's, um, Mumot. Okay, let's make the first cut to try and make up some time here. This is what happens when you don't pay attention, people. Oh shit, I'm on the wrong side of the road. There we go. Ah, uh, that's just got fine for getting on the wrong side of the road. Tunnel to close this. Otherwise, uh, I will kill myself. Hello, Mr. Gehring. Hello, sir. Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, not bad. Um, I'm airborne. Um, which, if I wasn't airborne, it would be cause for concern. So, I don't, how long how long's the race been going? Because I forgot to start my stopwatch. Um, I did straight away as well. We've been going for about 25 minutes. Fuck. Um, I had I had a I had a small issue on the ground and that the pushback truck that pushed me out took a fucking age to move out the way. Oh. You know like in the was it second race when you were in America? Yeah. And um, you were waiting for a, a, just an absolute century to to even leave the garage. Yeah. I I had I had that problem. <laughs> we are flying. Right, let's get better in. It's eleven oh seven for me. And my ETA uh, into into Hong Kong is twelve sixteen, so that's an hour and five minutes. But we're twenty five minutes into this game, and that's going to put me yeah behind. No, Mike was trying to call me. No, I'm talking to Aaron. Go away. Is <laughs> Mikey got stuck on a load of hills? Uh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, he's been sort of caught up. Um, I had a bit of an incident because I wasn't concentrating. Um, so I had to go and add an additional two hours of journey time on Ooh. of in game. So. Oh, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. I thought I was going to be able to climb up and um, up and away. Yeah. And, and use the, the altitude to my advantage, but the payload I'm carrying um, really limits me. I can't go any higher at the moment than 35,000 feet. Um, right. Yeah, so it's, 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 it's not a great view for, my, um, for anybody watching me at the moment because uh, not only is it you know open sky and stuff, a little bit cloudy, mm. but um, it's also uh, pitch black. Yeah, I'm saying that, if I, if I zoom back here. Yeah. I mean, that, that looks fucking space age. I love it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that is, oh, that is fucking borderline. Mm. So when you're flying, mm. you have um, like on your um, primary flight display. Yes. You've got the artificial horizon, and then on the left, I don't know if you remember, you've got the speedo. Yes. And then you've got the the red, um, which is basically if you go into this, you're gonna die. Oh, yeah. And then you've got the yellow, which is we highly recommend you don't go into this area. Yeah, I've got four knots. That is, um, that is good to go. And then above the directly above that is yellow, and then directly above that is red, and directly below that is yellow, and directly below that is red. So I have to keep this airplane within four knots. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, six miles an hour. Yeah. Okay. Bearing in mind I'm doing five hundred, mm. I, I have to keep it within six miles an hour. Regardless of how often the winds change, otherwise I'm either going to stall or I'm over going to go at overspeed. I'm going to go and talk to my brother, who's probably crying because he's uh, being left out. 
Okay, okay. Alright, mate, take right. it easy. Just in a bit. Bye. 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 Here we go. Back up speed. And my webcam is still working. Yay! <laughs> Next time on planes, trains, and automobiles. I've actually, I just dropped, I've just dropped off one cargo, and I've picked up another one. I think Ben's pretty much out of this. Hong Kong. Hearing out of the gloom.